So what we're hearing is Terry Rozier, if he's dealt, he wants to go to the Miami Heat, and damn, Miami's perfect for him. Uh, if I'm Miami, I'm like, okay, here's Kyle Lowry. But Terry Rozier is emerging as a potential trade candidate, according to Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports. Terry Rozier has been known to have a preference to get traded to the Miami Heat if the Hornets were to trade him. Now, Rozier has two years left on that four-year, $97 million deal, which is like $22, $23 million. His agent is Aaron Turner. If you guys don't know who Aaron Turner is, well, let's go ahead and tell you who else he represents. Aaron Turner represents guys like Delano Banton, Isaiah Jackson. Now, let's actually see who's the guys who got the most here. Terry Rozier, Derek Jones, Shakar Sampson, Kevin Knox, Kobe Simmons, Jonathan Kaminga, Trey Mann. All right, so if you look, he's got two Hornets players. He's got two T-Wolves, two Thunder players. Uh, so it doesn't look like he has a, a guy that's a specific, like attachment to anywhere so that's good that he doesn't have ties so that's not going to dictate if he will or won't go to miami so that's good to know that his so like guys with caa or clutch sports you kind of know where they'll go they'll only go to places with caa or clutch sports clients there so 22 million dollars 23 million dollars and we're hearing duck and Rock. i guess it would have to be tyler hero or i think they want to do kyle lowry and if you're charlotte if they sent you kyle lowry in a first round pick would you send terry rozier packaged with Nick Richards or Terry Rozier with mm, JT Thor. What do you guys think? I think it's definitely interesting to see how this could all play out. But yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to happen with the Miami Heat because if they played the cards right, they could have a decent turnaround for themselves. But that's just my opinion on that matter. But what do, what do I know? You know? Yo, what's going on, guys? And yes. Gordon Hayward, supposedly a trade candidate. Mike Scotto writes that multiple playoff caliber teams have called the Charlotte Hornets to gauge Gordon Hayward's trade availability. Now, Charlotte is focused on getting healthy and competing for a playoff spot. However, if Charlotte remains outside of the play-in tournament or by the time the deadline comes, they could move Gordon Hayward to give number two overall Brandon Miller more minutes at the small forward position. By moving on from Hayward, who's 34 years old. Now, what you have to understand, what's the team that would go out for Gordon Hayward? Low-key, the Lakers, if they miss out on everybody and they just want to get rid of, they, let's say, they really want to get rid of D'Angelo Russell or Rui Hachimura or Gabe Vincent, they could package just two of those guys and get, you know, Gordon Hayward. Now, another team, if the and that, then they get, you know, cap flexibility for the upcoming summer again. Another team that could do something would be, let's say, the freaking, I'm literally playing on the Hawks. If they want to move on from a combination of, you know, they could really do it if they wanted to move on. Clint Capella, supposedly they want to move on. It let's have to be a three-team deal because the, Haw the Hornets don't want Clint. But the idea of like sending them to multiple teams. Right now, Gordon Hayward makes, I believe, what is it? Let me give me one second. I think it's 37 million. He's the like one of the highest played. No, 31 million. My apology. I think last year he was making a bit more. But he makes the same as like Chris Paul, Jalen Brown, you know, Kyle Lowry. I, I you know, that's something if the if a team like the Heat say here's a pick and Kyle Lowry for Gordon Hayward, that's not too bad. Maybe uh, there's a there's a few there's a few i mean what if zach levine the zach levine deal could be around gordon hayward it's a bit interesting to see what it could be but let me know your guys' thoughts i i'm curious